Hey, a message from Dutty. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Remember, kids, if Pokemon Major Boy 12 tells you not to loot the Poké Lolly, do it anyway. <sighs> okay, who of you guys looted her first? Hold on a minute. Who the fuck are you? I'm Grovile. No need to worry, man. I'm just a one-time character since Long promised me in his last Q&A that I will appear. Okay, but where's the entrance fee? Uh, oh yeah, I nearly forgot about that. Here. Nice. I will further investigate your fee later. By the way, did you loot the lorry first? No. But then, who did it? Welcome to a Q&A on the- Oh, come on, please. I'm sorry. Your last Q&A uh, was more than three uh, weeks ago. Uh, I can't believe uh, you, man. Uh, Pull yourself uh, together. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, take oh, this uh, and that. Uh, guys, help me. Help me. And this and that and that uh, and that. Six and a half hours later. What's up, mighty boys and girls? It's your Ranger Boy here and welcome. Not weekly and not on Saturday. Q&A. Okay, okay, calm down, girl. Calm down. Sorry, guys. I know it took such a long time to make a new Q&A. Really sorry. But that's why without any more hesitation, let's do this. Can I borrow your Flammenwerfer? First of all, Flammenwerfer is the German word for flamethrower. Like the weapon flamethrower. And also it's actually spelled with a W instead of a V, you know. Just say, just say. And sorry man, you can't have it. Because the Flammenwerfer is actually a Rangers Reader's toy. Out of the way, bitches! What Pokemon villain would you like to see return and why? Personal opinion, we don't really need a return of all villains. Because in Sun and Moon, we already have two. Very good villains, so no need for more. Will you please review Super? Screw the Pokemon fans that hate it. Again, I would really love to, but you know, maybe for the upcoming episode I will consider making a second channel. But I don't know. Can you make a special video where you speak in German? He isn't German, by the way. Goldman, what are you talking about? I am German. Can you speak German? Oh my god. I think that was like the most requested question I had received. So, okay. Wenn ihr wirklich wollt, dass ich Deutsch spreche, dann spreche ich Deutsch. Um ehrlich zu sein, ich fühle mich nicht wirklich ganz wohl, wenn ich äh, vor meinem Publikum Deutsch spreche, weil, ähm, naja, 90% von euch versteht wahrscheinlich nicht Deutsch. Aber, yay! Ich bin Deutscher und kann Deutsch sprechen. Jesus! Oh wow, I really feel uncomfortable right now. Favorite Pokémon Anime Openings besides the XYZ ones? Absolutely right, like none of the past or future openings really beat either Get the Ban Ban or, or Ikuze. But I, I, I will be honest, Ikuze is like the badass one and Get the Ban Ban is like the more upbeat one, the upbeat happy one. And I, 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 I just love both. But if we put them aside, uh, when it comes to English one, I really love the one from Advanced Battle because the lyrics are just awesome and they, and they suit so perfectly with the visuals. <laughs> When it comes to Japanese one, I know that um, most of the pearl shippers want me to say high touch because that's like the pearl shipping opening, the one where Ash and Dawn are singing in a duet. But uh, the lyrics are a little bit too cheesy in my opinion, and I actually really like the. I think it's called the greatest every day. It's also di it's also diamond pearl opening, and I prefer that. <laughs> Sorry for asking more Pokemon questions. Brock, Tracy, Silent Clement, and Marlo. Which of them is the best chef? Personal opinion, it would be Brock, but because Marlo's goal is actually to be the best chef in Alola, she will at some point surpass Brock. So, Marlo. Where's your Patreon? I want to donate. Thanks a lot, man, but um, I don't really feel like comfortable, you know, asking for money. But if many people want to, then okay, well, I guess I will open the Patreon. I can't really offer you much, but I will try my best. Just being an ass. Amour or Lagomor? Choose wisely. But I answered that before. Love both, but Amour, of course, a little bit more Amour. Hmm. Could you do a combo with Entity? Combo? You mean a collab? Because I don't know what a combo is. I'm not very that fond with collabs, like talking collabs. AV collabs? Okay, but like talking, I'm still not comfortable enough to do that, and that's why I 
really don't live stream at all. Do you think Ash Ninja deserved the form it got? I heard people who think otherwise, such as Pikachu, Charizard or Sceptile. Okay, I also heard that a rumor that a lot of people thought it was unfair that Pikachu and Ash didn't got that form because, you know, they're like, because they're like the long time buddies. It's Ash's first Pokemon, but no, no Ash Pikachu form because in my opinion, the Pokemon who, who only deserve that form should be Pokemon who fully evolve. And Pikachu will never fully evolve. So even though Pikachu is an OP Pikachu, no. Just only for fully evolve. And when it comes to the other ones like Sceptile and Charizard, yeah... Uh, Charizard, yes. Sceptile, I'm not so sure, but Charizard, yes. Definitely. And did Greninja deserve the form? Of course. Because um, Greninja's past was very tragic and... Um, Ash was the very first trainer it could really trust. Somewhat like Charizard, right? I still wonder why people hate Silent. Me? Maybe because some people think that all of Gen 6 sucks. Um, I think you're talking about Gen 5. Because Silent is from Gen 5. And not everything from Gen 5 sucks. God damn it! I mean, the, the games are, in my opinion, the best games we ever had. Even with Sun and Moon. Best games we ever had. And I love Silent. And even though Iris was annoying, yes, I, I get it. At least she was different. When do you think Serena will come in the anime? In my opinion, not anytime soon because in two weeks we will have the Lily arc, aka the Eighth Foundation arc, and I don't think that uh, Serena will appear during that arc, but maybe afterwards. But she must appear. My, my, like fuck, she's she's like super popular. She can't get the Iris treatment. Like no. She didn't even got an OVA. Here's a question for your next video if I ever get noticed. Would Serena and Misty be good friends since they both love Ash? I think um, all the poker girls would be good friends with each other. But to be honest, in regards of the Misty and Ash thing, I was actually a little bit disappointed when it comes to the poker shipping moments because I expected a little bit more in regards of poker shipping because they focus so much on nostalgia and on the epic Z move versus Mega Evolution clash that there wasn't really any room for like genuine poker shipping moments. And the one good poker shipping moments I saw was after the episode. I was like, must suck to be a poker shipper right now. Here's a question. Do you ship Lillian's son? No! Because for some odd reason, I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I really like to ship Lily with Moon, aka Mizuki. And yes, her, her official name is actually Mizuki. Lily and Mizuki, definitely. Do you like other games besides Pokemon, like games from PlayStation or Xbox? I already expressed my love for Fire Emblem Fates and Fire Emblem Awakening, but uh, when it comes to like Xbox or PlayStation, I only have a PlayStation 4. I usually only play games like FIFA or NBA or Overwatch, you know, just... And I don't really play that, that often. I only play it together with my brothers. What's your favorite middle evolution? Mine is Magneton. Mine is actually Quillava. Because because um, since I encountered Quilava in Gen 2, I thought to myself, Quilava is like the, the perfect, the absolute perfect middle form. It's not as babyish as um, Cyndaquil, but it's not as buff and overly exaggerated like um, Typhlosion. It's strong, it's quick, and at the same time, it just has a fucking awesome design. And that's why I was so glad that Ash and Dawn both did not fully evolve their Quilava. Suits both of them. Quilava suits for contest and for battling. Perfect. Fuck, Mary Kill. Lana, Bonnie, Lana sisters. You mean Sarah and Harper? And no, I will not answer that because it's a trap. Excellent question for a Q&A. How big are Ranger Serena's boobs? Asking for science. For science. And I have no idea. I have to ask my artist. Um, I mean. Okay, okay. I have to ask her mom. Incoming transmission. Master Long, me and off. Anti looting force. Try to stop the looting of the lolly, but the Emperor's fleet and army are too strong for the wall. The king needs your help. Otherwise, the lolly will be lost. I'm sorry to report this, man, but the lolly already has been looted. Okay, like the next question right here was super long, but I decided to use only the second half of the question instead because that was like really interesting for me. Fave outfits of the Poker Girls. Misty, Kimino and Maiden's Peak, Princess outfit, and especially the mermaid outfit. Yes, totally agree in regards of them, and especially the mermaid one. Yes, yes, yes. May, her Arabian outfit from the Wallace Cup and her normal outfit. Even though I really like her outfit from the Wallace Cup, I actually prefer her outfit from the Lucario movie, you know, with the beautiful ribbon on the back. And I also love her hairstyle with the braids. Her really adorable hairstyle in combination with that dress. Mwah. Dawn, 
half form collection attire and her normal outfit. The half form one was okay. For, I personally didn't like it because, you know, it's just white. and I, I get it. it. It has to be only white. But I gotta say, my favorite outfit from Dawn of all time, of all time, has to be the one she was wearing during the Grand Festival. My god, it was beautiful. First of all, because it was so different from every other Dawn dress, because it wasn't like pinkish, it wasn't just like girly. The, I like the yellowish kind of color. And in combination with that beautiful hairstyle, my god, Dawn never looked more pretty. Iris, princess attire from the Zora movie and her pajama. Yes, the prince attire. Really like that. And it also showcased that Iris can be adorable. It's just not a lot of people have seen that. Bonnie, her various costumes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you were talking about like, um, you know, the the different Diane C outfits, every every one of them was awesome. But the most adorable thing I have seen from Bonnie so far has to be her Tyrone pajama. Man, it looks so cute on her, man. Shit. Serena, her first outfit and her dance party dress. I stated before that I actually prefer her second outfit more than her first, but, like, to be honest, when it comes to favorite outfit of Serena, there is none, because every outfit of Serena is just awesome. I mean, her Diane C outfits, my god, so much color, so much variety. I love each and every one of them. It just showcased that Serena is just the fashion queen of Pokemon. And of course, when we had Dance Party 1, her regular performer outfit, the kimono outfit, her promotion outfit for the Dori Dori soundtrack, and even Ash's clothes, she looks fantastic. Let's be honest here, she looks good in everything. That's my girl right there. Our little girl, swimsuit, I guess. Yeah, the swimsuits. We haven't seen much from the Alolan Girls besides that, so yeah, I guess the swimsuits. Even though, I would really love it if Lily would actually do the redesign, because I really like that design as well. How much do you love Pokemon? I just love Pokemon. Do I have to own each and every game? Which I actually do. And do I have to own each and every plush and figurine? Which would be impossible because they are fucking expensive. You know, you can't really scale love for Pokemon like that. Just love the franchise and everything else is irrelevant. If you wanted to request me to draw something, what would you request? Just draw what you like and send it to my Twitter. Where's your next fanfiction, AMV? I want more, please. Fanfiction will come up this week because we finally have a break from the episodes. And um, AMV will also come. It depends on how fast my artist is. I've got a question for your next Q&A. Why didn't you answer the question I gave you on the last Q&A? Time for your punishment. Grabs Lana. She's staying with me now, okay? Okay, okay my god. Just ask your question and let her go, please! We know you fab to Ranger Serena. Well, according to some of my subscribers, Ranger Serena is actually my daughter, so... That would be kind of fucked up. Did you ever, ever, ever buy a body... a waifu body pillow? A waifu body... A waifu body pillow. This right here is my regular pillow. It's pretty shitty. It's super uncomfortable and I can barely sleep with it. If I can't sleep with that thing, do you really think that I feel more comfortable with a huge ass body pillow by my side? I don't know, I, I could never sleep with something like that, man. But I will never ever own a body pillow. Not because it's strange, but if you like it, hey, it's okay. I won't judge, man. It's just that um, if I want to sleep, I want to sleep comfortable and I just can't imagine sleeping next to a body pillow is like comfortable at all. I just can't imagine it. If you were to make a new character, like Ranger Serena, in your Q&As, which Pokemon anime character would you make it based on? Again, that's a surprise and I will not spoil that surprise. And also, by the way, Red Azumarill? How many of you guys are there? I mean, of course, we have the green one, the OG one, then there's also a blue Azumarill in my comment section and now a red one. I can't, I can't handle you guys, I can't. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this today's Q&A, hope you liked it, and um, sorry again for being late. I will try my best to make it a more like, weekly, serious. Anyway, with that being said, see you guys in the comments section below. Bye guys.